I can't get to that one back there. So these big ones, I can't get to them to show their show their spikes. Let's see if we can get. No, I'm gonna have to pull them out. It's just too big. But the grammatophyllums are in spike. Yay! Pause. <laughs> My amaryllis blooms in spring. <laughs> or flowers in spring. Then flower in the winter. I know you're tired of seeing my cannas, but I never get tired of them. And the hummingbirds either. I caught a couple in late evening last, and uh, they swooped in and swooped out. They actually devoured this red canner. They just would not give it up. So I'm going to have to get some seeds and spread some more red cannas for my hummingbirds because I rarely see them visit. So I want to I wanna keep them coming. All right, who is that? Nobody. All right, let's see if this uh, chromatophyllum is in spite. This was the smallest of the chromatophyllums. It's really tight in its pot. I can't get a visual right now, but that doesn't mean anything. That's beautiful. Lovely. And the flowers, flowers are really thick. Don't know what happened to my tag, but this is one of my favorite den fowls here. Yeah, I'll post a picture of it when they open. Absolutely love it. I did a complete repot on my Wanagaras. Yeah, they stayed in their original pot up until now. I think I purchased them, <clears throat> excuse me, sometime last season or the end of uh, the end of summer, fall. I did a huge haul on a Wanagaras, and they remained in their pots. So we ordered some containers here and we repot all the Wanagaras. Yeah, we'll see how they do now. Look like they're happy. We'll see. I want a garage. Repot. <laughs> 